Hello folks and welcome to this episode of Mountains Peak. Okay folks, we are here in the far north of Scotland to tackle um, Ben Hope, the most northerly of Munro's. Um, I'm on holiday, I'll be honest, um, and I've sneaked away for a wee day, or a wee half day at least. Um, we're doing the North Coast 500 as a family and we're currently camping at Sango Sands, which is in Durness, right up the kind of north coast. So I've driven the, the hour back um, from the way we were going, and there goes the GoPro. Okay folks, I'll just do this by hand. Um, as you can tell, it's a bit windy and blustery. It's supposed to be 40 million an hour winds up there uh, today. I think most of Scotland's been getting hit with, uh, with high winds. We certainly did last night. Uh, Fortunately, we have an air tent, which means uh, when the tent pulls, the air pulls, buckle, they pop back and um, they don't break. Uh, so, we were fortunate enough that the tent kind of snapped back last night a couple of times. It was about 40 million an hour winds and yeah, it was a noisy night. It was probably the, noisy ones, the noisiest one so far. So I had hoped to fly my new birthday present. Uh, my lovely wife got me a drone for my birthday and uh, yeah, I've been using it quite a lot on this on this journey, but I was hoping to use it today for the mountain. But the wind's not having it. I'm not going to put it up in that wind. I think it will just go AWOL if I do that. It's just too much wind. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get cracking. I've got Luna with me today actually. Um, she's needing a she's needing a mountain. She needs a mountain. She's listening to all the, all the wild life. Fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to take Luna with us today. Let her stretch her legs. We're going to batter up and get this done. So, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Okay, folks, I'm around 230 metres. So far, the terrain's been very good. The, the path's been very straightforward. There's not really much navigation required. Um, the terrain underfoot is boggy in places, but it's avoidable. No real issues there. So, so far, so good. This wind's kicking up again. It's rushing right down through the valley or the glen. Um, oh. I'll tell you something, I'm getting a cramp and stuff around my feet because I've not been drinking anywhere near enough water the past couple of days. As I said, we've been doing the North Coast 500 with the family. Uh, tonight will be night four or five, can't remember. Um, so we've been enjoying it, I'll be honest. The scenery's been outstanding. We come up the East Coast and we're going to go along the North and then down the West. Um, but yeah. Been brilliant so far. In fact, we had a cracking cup of coffee at the uh, coast, it's called. I'll put a wee link up. A lovely woman there, Karen. Um, great coffee, great snacks. She's got the basics, you know, the black coffee and turnips, caramel wafers. <laughs> so, yeah, she's a, a lovely woman. And uh, if you are driving along the, the north coast, make sure to pop in by. Um, but yeah, brilliant so far. Uh, the views, fortunately, we've got some views, they're outstanding. But uh, we're going to crack one though. Try and get up here. Trying to get up here, it's still a bit covered over with the cloud, but hopefully that clears through. Right, 
We'll see you further on. Okay folks, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to hear, it's really windy, hopefully the microphone's picking it up. This is at the summit of Ben Hope, Scotland's most northerly Monroe, 926 metres. Can I beasted it up here, hold on, I've used this up here, I'll show you it quickly. I kind of beasted it up here and uh, didn't take any real breaks, just to get up here and get it done with the wind being so strong. That's unbelievable. The views are meant to break. I think that's Loch Hope over there. Uh, the views are meant to break. Um, but I think it's a wee bit later on. Lena, don't go too far. She's been loving it. Chasing ptarmigans and things like that. Um, so I'm going to do my admin. You know how I like my admin. There's actually a bit of a sheltered cairn here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to duck in behind that, see if I can get some shelter. Get a couple of layers on. Grab something to eat and then it's a straight back down, no hanging about. Um, you've pretty much seen the route, it's a straight back the way we came up. So if anything special happens I'll take a bit of footage, but other than that I'll see you at the bottom. And hopefully the wind's died down a wee bit, we can get some drone footage along Loch Hope and uh, down the Glen, that would be awesome. But uh, for now, I'll leave you to it and I'll speak to you in a, a short while. See you in a bit. That's us done, up and down in under four hours, that's pretty good going. Um, it's a pretty straightforward mountain to be honest with you. The initial section um, is, is, is quite steep, but there's a couple of, a couple of um, what do you call them, plunge pools, you know, from the, the waterfalls and stuff like that. Do you know if it had been a nicer day, I might have done it. I don't have a towel with me, so it would have been a bit of a skinny dip as well. Um, so I'm not sure you want to see that. But yeah, a couple of plunge pools. So if you do come along, pop a wee towel in the bag, it'd absolutely be worth it. Even if you just dip your toes in, it'd absolutely be brilliant. Um, so yeah, the, the initial section is quite steep and, and then you kind of follow along, along a, a plateau. And the going's good, there's a couple of wee boggy bits, like I said, but you can, you can avoid these. 
I imagine wetter seasons it might be a bit different, um, but this is like middle of July, so it's been dry for a wee while, albeit windy. Um, yeah, and then pushing on, once you go over the kind of the mass of the hill and you get up onto the kind of shoulder or, or I don't know what you would call it, the nose, the Chiron, um, yeah, it's a pretty straight shot from there. Uh, no real issues navigating, um, fairly easy going. To be honest, it's one of the easier ones I've done, I'm not going to lie. Uh, although I wasn't really feeling it at the, at the beginning this morning. Um, I don't know, you just get those days, don't you, when you just can't kind of be bothered and you just want to go back and curl up in bed. But I pushed through. Perseverance. Every hill walker knows about perseverance, don't they? So, persevered and it paid off. So, good mountain. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So, um, if Luna can get her head out of my crotch, that'd be awesome. <laughs> So we've got another couple of mountains to do before we actually head home. So um, I'll maybe put a wee link in here for them. They should be posting roughly the same time. But for now, I will leave you to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and, and this one, Luna. Climbing mountains and being silly and just generally enjoying ourselves. And uh, stay tuned for the next one, okay? So take care, stay safe.